Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Chris Bud Cowie. I'm the host of BizGrams and the founder of Empowered Facts. I am super excited today because today is our 100th episode. I am so grateful to all of the dynamic guests that we have had over the time period. It has been a wonderful journey. Honestly, I could not have gotten here without, I believe we have over 70 entrepreneurs, unique entrepreneurs on our show, anything from decluttering to life coaching to, you know, deep car detailing to food to accountants. It has been an amazing journey. And that just tells you all about the entrepreneurial community here in Canada and even abroad. Uh, today, we are graced with Wynette Lounge from who's currently in Jamaica. Yes. <laughs> so on vacation in Jamaica and doing amazing things. So Wena, thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm happy to be here. Awesome. Thank you so much. And so tell us a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey. Okay. So um, my name is Wena Lau. My company name is Christine Catering Service. I also have a pop-up kitchen called Cooking with Christine also. And I've been around for years. <laughs> However, I actually just start coming out. Maybe um, about a, maybe two years now, I actually start promoting my business. And so tell us, you know, when you're talking about um, someone is in the kitchen potentially for the first time what tips or advice do you have for people that are cooking in the kitchen okay for me um for anyone who is cooking in the kitchen you can, anyone could go into a kitchen and cook but for me you gotta love it you gotta have the passion for it you got to um enjoy what you do it's just like you having a regular job if you don't love it you're not going to feel comfortable being there or you're not going to be feeling like you want to be there. You know what I mean? So when you have, for me, it's the passion, it's the love, it's the, the that drive that makes me. So I would tell somebody that coming in, you got to love it. You got to have to enjoy it and want to be there. Not only when you feel for something to eat, okay, I'm going to go make something. You got to have that passion. So when you cook and that other person that's eating it, it's going to feel that love. So talk to us a little bit more about your entrepreneurial journey. What has been some of the challenges that you've experienced and the lessons that you have learned along the way? Well, um, some of the challenges that I've faced is, you know, I'm in um, the catering business. So when you're in the catering business, um, I have a lot of like friends and stuff that knows about my cooking, but one of my is the publicity. Um, that, that's my challenge that I, um, that I face, um, a lot of, and, uh, I've done, um, lot, I've done the weddings, I've done, um, other events, like I've done, um, previously back, um, someone did a, I did a retirement by cooking and did a retirement for that individual, but it's the publicity that, um, that I faced the challenge with. So with doing this, it's just touches my heart because now people are actually seeing, actually visually seeing me and know um, what I've done. So a lot of people know my cooking, but nobody really knows me and no one has publicized me. So shout out to, um, I see that she's there, Black Own 90, um, 905. I know she's there um, watching. She's been helping me a lot by promoting my stuff. So I give her a shout out. I'm happy. Also, um, my other friends, um, like I see Donna there, she's also sells cars. She's a salesperson too. She has her own business. Shout out to her. She reached out to me, Mary Mack. A lot of um, 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 Shanessa Buchanan, she also reaches out. My best friend, Bella. So they, like that's the publicity I'm getting. So those are my challenge that I've been facing. Um, is getting that publicity the way I want it to, yeah. to reach out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that's basically a lot of my challenge. Yeah. Everything else, um, people just need to, I wish some, I'm going to, my next thing that I have um, prepared for when I come up, 
I'm going to do a taster. Ooh. So, yes, I'm going to do a taster where I'm going to prepare everybody. <laughs> yes. So I'm go- you will be invited to. So I'm going to do a taster where, you know, bring in a couple of people so they can taste the food, tell about it. Because the more you get that publicity and the, the more you talk about it and people can testify, like what you've seen here on the live, like a lot of people can tell you how it is and all that. So I really work hard. I work hard, but now I, I'm i not getting that publicity and I'm happy for that. Right. Now. Talk to us a little bit about um, one of your greatest accomplishments or thing that you're most proud as it relates to your business. Oh, what I most, my accomplishment, oh, is doing this right now. <laughs> This is one of my accomplishments. This is what I've always wanted to do. Because my sisters always say, I see my sister on there too. They always say, you love to talk. You should go here. You should go on a radio station because you just love to talk. <laughs> but for me, it's um, just honestly doing this is an accomplishment for me. Um, Because as I said, I've worked so hard. Uh, I've gone up and I've gone down, I've gone around and come back around. And this has been the best thing for me right now. So I'm so super excited. Um, I may not show it, but I'm very super excited inside. Um, so this is one of my accomplish- accomplishments. And I know there's many more to come and I look forward for it. And I look forward for the challenge. I'm, I'm curious, you know, what has been, you know, your biggest inspiration and reason why you keep going? You talk about sometimes you want to go off to the side, you want to give up. What has kept you going up through this time period? What kept me going is just, as I said, I love cooking and my children, my children are by, like, you know, they make me, they say, mommy. Why are you giving up? Like, mommy, your food is so good. People are going to come. Like, mommy, don't worry. And especially my son, Jamal, right there. He's like, mommy, don't worry. People are going to come. Don't worry. And, you know, but I do it for my children, my grandchildren. I do it all for them. And they're my biggest, um, they're, they're my inspiration because I want to leave a legacy. And, again, um, my legacy is for them. If it's not for the children, for my grandkids. I want to know that um i leave back something for them i want to make sure that they're secure and also the passion that i have i i just it's just a passion for me i love cooking you'll come to my house on on my day off like a sunday and i cannot cook if it's just me and my my son or my kids i can't cook just a small amount of food i always have to cook so much food to feed the whole army so when I cook, I, I don't cook small amount. I cook a lot of food. So because I, as again, I just love when people are happy. And my passion, one of my dream and my passion is to, is to feed the homeless. And one day, um, I want to reach the point, like, I'm just going to get up and just cook a bunch of food and just go and give to the homeless. That, that's, that's my next passion. And that's my drive. And that's what I want. I just love to know that somebody is eating and somebody is happy while doing it. This has been a dynamic first half to our hundredth episode. I, I couldn't wish for anything better. You know, we're talking about food, we're talking about passion, we're talking about community and, and fun, you know. And I want to just say congratulations to you on your journey thus far. We here at Empowered Facts and the, the team here, our family here, are really excited for when you come back that we can also bring you out to our communities here and champion the work that you're doing. So thank you so so much Wendell, for being here with us today enjoy sunny jamaica i wish i was there too with you i'm there in spirit okay uh, <laughs> and i thank you so much Chris, for having me i it's been a pleasure i'm i'm so honored um when you reach out to me i was very honored and i'm happy to be here so i thank you so much hey. to you and your team for having me here that is awesome i am sending you out with Lots of love and blessings for today and beyond from the team here at Empowered Facts to Cooking with Christine. I embrace it. Hey, yes. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.